Good kitten internet. Uh, hopefully people actually saw the last video because of my, um, shall we say, repeated content warnings. Um, because my video editing would not work because of these stupid dropped frames. Yes, son, kitty, I know. So if you did skip over the video due to the content warning, I can give you a brief content warning free version of what's been going on. Uh, namely, we went to the Trapezohedron, fought off the um, Kuiper Belt larva. Turns out it was just the equivalent of a lizard's tail, which is to say that it dropped the tail and left the rest of the body somewhere else. Unfortunately, we depleted all of the mana and fell guy for the next hundred years as a result, so that's cool. Uh, Irving decided to be an asshole and did things and went off on his own. While he, as a distraction, told us to go investigate some random monsters, we found out uh, we found the resting place of the Heimdall Gazo, the giant spaceship that Odessa had and Ashley kind of partially died on at the end of Disc 1. Uh, it had all the data banks of the Heimdall Gazo in it, and turns out that Heimdall Gazo's funder is Irving Vold Valeria. Told you, Irving's an asshole. I was not joking. Um, so everybody's taken a day to figure out what they want to do. Um, let's see. Ashley and Marina had sex. That was consensual, by the way. Um, uh, let's see. Lilka was talking with her bully, and apparently her bully really likes her. I, that's kind of bad situation in my mind, but hey, Japanese video game from the late 90s. Uh, it's a historical document, shall we say. Um, we also had a cute scene with Tim and Colette. I think those are a very cute couple, at least. Uh, we also had a cute scene with Brad and Billy. Um, that's the scene that, because of the bad translation, that accidentally made Brad gay. I'm perfectly fine with this because they took away one gay relationship and accidentally added a different one. Um, let's see, Cannon brooded a whole bunch and spouted out something that didn't even make any sense translation-wise, and apparently Merrillville is being paired with Tony Stark, as in the ten-year-old kid that was running around with Tim. Believe it or not, that was not the dubious consent situation. Anyway. Um, yeah. So we're on our own at this point. At any point in the game, we can just go to the final dungeon. There's nothing else for us. Uh, in fact, we are actually going to be heading toward the final dungeon because there are certain enemies that I want to fight. Not because I'm actually going to go into the dungeon. But we do need to pick up an item from it. Uh, needs a strong word, I guess. I mean, there's... So you'll notice that there's only one tool missing in the game, and it's um, Ashley's. So we're probably going to go pick up that tool right now, I'm thinking. Notice, background went different, different music. Told you there was another walkabout music. I like this song. Final Ignition, I believe, is the name of it. I think there's even lyrics for it in one of the albums. Alright. Um. Lava to Gable. By the way, we're not given any directions at this point of the game. Like, here. The spiral Tower is on a peninsula next to the Lost Garden. But there's nowhere to nearby for the Lombardia to land, so you'll have to find a suitable spot. Yep. This is all we've got left in the game. It's this place, for reference. So we need to find a suitable spot, which is way back through here. They intentionally made this long just to screw around with you. All right. So, we want to fight a Necronomicon, in, or several in here.
about Aku. Uh, that's something we've fought before, because all of these are the same enemies that we had on that one random island. Uh, about Aku is not really all that difficult. Weak against Earth, cool. Bonk, 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 bonk. You're very dead. Come to think of it. Where'd the enemy go? There it is. Okay. So yeah. We're just going, and I intentionally increased the random encounter rate because I want the dang Necronomicon. Emtherian. Emtherian, they have nothing for me. But they take half damage from everything. Okay. Tim's only level 46. If he was slightly higher level, I could actually pull off the stack. I'm just going to have Loka take care of this. Though, honestly, half damage from everything might still be better to use an elemental attack. Maravel hit 33, that's nice. Like I said, I'm intentionally ramping up the encounter rate so I can freaking get a Necronomicon. Ah, uh, Aga. You are weak against Frost. You have nothing I care about. Zone. What did I say about jumping up on here? It's currently sitting in the corner of my desk. Uh, we only have like four or five enemies left, I think. Okay. So there's a dead end over here that has the item that we're seeing on the radar. Seriously? Yeah, you're the one weak against Earth. Rock bonk, 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 bonk. I'm so glad I have fast forward. The random encounters in here get even slower, by the way. Viper Fang! That is a boomerang. It is the highest damage thrown item in the game. There's only one. Emtherian is the one that's blast. Okay. Tom, what are you doing, cat? We have a lot of optional content to still do, by the way. Um, this is, will not be ending on episode 42, even though this is episode 41. Grendel! I'm pretty sure there's also nothing for you. Grendel, weak against air. Drops mini carrots. I mean, that's nice. Death. Brad hit 44. Cool. Gasnoid. Um, what was the weird thing about the Gasnoid again? Gasnoid. Uh, resistant against everything. Okay. And it's really hard to hit. So yeah, this is Blast Bait. Zone. Kitty cat. Why won't you just settle on my shoulders? Like you like to do. Silly kitty. You are also not what I want to fight. Bojanoid and Osei. Bojanoid. 
<laughs> Nothing like your Wild Arms 1 version. I like the Wild Arms 1 version better. I'll say... Is... Weak against nothing, just don't use lightning or darkness against it. I can big pocket a tiny flower, though. That's nice. Ojanoid, uh, you drop lucky cards. And, okay. That's not a big deal. You are going to switch from Odoruk to... Actually, is it already? Uh, it's already on cannon. Let's just move cannon into party for now. I'll say... Wind is fine against Wojanoid, so that's what I'm going to use. I should have used it on... Oh, well. Just on to me that, uh... Whatchamacallit, um... Uh... Well, it worked anyway. Um... Why am I blanking on names today? I mean, I know it's late at night. This is the same day that I recorded the previous video, if you couldn't tell. Um, Maryville, there we go. Um, Maryville has perfect luck right now. This is our objective, by the way. And I think I can just walk in briefly and grab the tool. I want to say it's like in the first room. So many memories of this place. So many memories of this place. Sunflare. You do not have a skill that I care about. You take half damage from everything. Cool. I don't think they're gonna live through anything like this. No, no, they're not. I have so much money at this point. I mean, this game usually ha you have gobs of money because you have um, what call it? Um. Because you um, have to upgrade your arms. And that can get expensive. Alright, it wasn't in the first. If it's not in the second, I'm going to just back, back out. Why did I cancel that? Oh. The Lost Tale of Genesis will hereby be imparted. I am Wotan, leader of the Wild Hunt band of specters riding the winds of winter storms. This is not where I thought. Hmm. How far in do I actually have to go for the stupid tool? Hold on, let me look this up. Okay, it's a bit further. I guess we'll do this and then come back. I am Saturn, god of agriculture and the ruler of the world during the Age of Happiness. Spiral that turns from the moon to the sun won't change the past, the future, nor the present. What? Looking down are the new moon and the old moon, a kind mother's face and cruel queen of the night. Remember, the new moon is Melduk, which is a space station. The sun glitters with hope. If one's heart is filled with hope, darkness exits and the sun appears. I am Thor, god of thunder, wielder of the hammer Molnir, and the defender of the Aesir. I am Freak, goddess of love and fertility. 
After losing my son, Ud, my tears turned to gold. I am Q, the god of sky and war, bringer of flame of disaster to destroy all creation. Okay. Oh, okay, I remember this now. Moon. Two. Whoa. Frig. Have you figured out what the pattern is? I'm just looking up, I'm just reading what they are ahead of time. Because I don't want to be here forever. But I remember the pattern now. Sat. And of course the last day of the week is Sunday. The day this is the week. It's just dumb. Because, translation issue. Because T-I-U is not two. Technically it is if you said it out loud, but not... Yeah, you get the idea. It's not really meant to be Tuesday. <sighs> I used to have these stairs so memorized that I can walk down them with my eyes closed. Because I was constantly going back and forth here. I want to hit random encounters, so I'm potentially trying to hit them. Pabilsog? Pabilsog. 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 Ah, uh, okay. Weak against Frost. I think this might be pretty close to done. Not that one. I bet I have like one or two left. Let's check. Oh no, I have 17 left. Damn it. Wait. I know that's right. Okay, this might actually be the spot that has what I need. Okay, is it chain trod? Freeze. Fire. Air. to use here? It is bomb. I think I just need to do this. Yep, okay. It's been a while. I know I could have just used Puka, but I have this tool out. I'm going to use it. Even if I dislike it greatly. Ayo! Ayo? You have weakness to Earth. Okay.
And the rest of these were ice. I'm not even high level. I mean, 50 is about the level I should be in my mind for here. So I'm really confused as to why everything is so low level in this dungeon. Yeah, you're not surviving this, so... And also, you also only stole a heal berry. You're giving me back my dang heal berry. Ah. Is it here that I finally get the useful thing? not standing on I am standing on it I must just not have stood correctly yeah oh, looks like they have good tolerance on timing there we go I miss being able to rotate between abilities. Okay. Yeah, this is why I remember this dungeon so much, is because of having to go back and forth in here to get the stupid flare gun. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said what it was. It's a flare gun. Baylors? You don't look anything like a Baylor. Baylor, hardly newer. Weak against darkness, because that makes sense for a Baylor. Black Gage. No, <laughs> And I still have three more Guardians to go. If you haven't noticed, we're missing the three Deity Guardians. Okay. Not exactly difficult. This is the thing I needed, I believe. Yep. Flare gun! Press the square button to shoot the flare gun overhead to illuminate the surrounding darkness. Fire it up upward to hit switches above your head! Now we can see that there really isn't anything in here. But now we can escape. It'd be nice if we had an escape spell, but we don't. Which means walking all the way back. So, I'm gonna talk about other things. Oh, crap. How do I get out of here again? Oh, I think I can just go from up here. Yeah. Um, so. Might as well talk about plans. So, I'd mentioned this in my... Whatchamacallit, um, live video. Uh, vlog. <laughs> Words are hard tonight. Um... That my plan is to... This will stop sometime in January. Um, I really don't think we have enough content left for it to go too much longer than that. Uh, I'm Really, I'm thinking that we're going to end on like episode 44 to 45 would be my guess. But who knows, maybe I'll find other content. Four levels off of being able to do what I want with Tim. We're going to grind a little bit, by the way. Um, maybe not this video. I don't know. I have crying kitties. I don't know why I have crying kitties. Yeah. 
It's probably zone. Die. Anyway. Zone, why are you crying so much? Is it just hunger? Dang it. My impatience is showing. Mind you, I used to do this running. Not sped up, though. You are ice. I will ice beam you to death. Get more kills. And I'm getting an okay amount of experience doing this, but there's a much, much better way of getting experience in this game. Hi, Zone. How about you come up here? Say hi. I'm sure the internet would love to see you because Kitty's internet works great together. Promise. Come on, Zone. Hi, Kitty. You didn't feature at all in the last video, even though you were the one out and about. Um, so yeah, I was talking about plans. So yeah, this won't last through January, for sure. Um, I would be shocked it even reached the end of January. time I did it. That time I didn't. Yeah, like, this background music is embedded in my brain because of how much I did that. And I don't remember any of it. Unfortunately, I still don't have the freaking Necronomicon. And I can't use my mic... You don't have a Necronomicon. You don't get to live because you don't have a Necronomicon. I've even encountered a Necronomicon already. And I've gone through this game before where I didn't encounter the enemy at all. And I've gone through this game before where I got six Necronomicons. And I wasn't, like, intentionally going after them. It just happened to be that way. Pentagruels. Oh, you couldn't see it. Zone Kitty was chasing his own tail. It was cute. Pentagruels. Drop mini carrots. Don't have anything I care about that we can against electricity. Actually, wait. Mystic mini carrot. Still chasing his own tail. He's so cute. Um, we're going to do Rock Dolt on the Alo. 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 <laughs> Rock Dolt. And then, finally, you're weak against electricity. Well, let me introduce you to a Plasma Tap. That's not going to feel very good. Nope. Uh, how many are we down to now? I think we can do too. I'm basically just walking back because I want to encounter random enemies. Specifically, I want to encounter the freaking Necronomicons. You are not Necronomicons, you're Wise Glovers. Wiz Glovers? Wiz Glovers. It's supposed to be Wizard something. Um, I don't think I can kill you with Tim very well. Uh, yeah, you absorb all elements. Cool. That not gonna work. 
I also don't have anything I care about, so... Remember, we have double random encounter rate right now. Uh, Grendel, what were we weak against? I've already forgotten. Uh, air. Okay, I guess I'll have one left. Then I could equip Dender I am. You were Earth, right? Yeah. Um, for reference, Tim may very well just keep Dander I am equipped for the entire rest of the game. I don't really see a reason not to. Because it is so much better than other ones. I mean, you can see the huge sorcery difference between Chapapunka and Dandarium. Dyrum, not Dariam. Stupid brain. Um, yeah, you can actually see that there are totally ones that are better sorcery. But also 748 sorcery power on Dim now. Alright, what do we have left? This isn't Dender, I am the one... Yeah, Dender, I am only has one ability. And it's gonna take 20 kills. Okay, we have Necronomicons. Also, we happen to have... Oh crap, Tim doesn't have a very good luck. Um, it should still be possible. You should probably equip an amulet. Let's at least get you to normal lock. How much damage does Lucky Word? Um, that's right, I can cast Lucky Word. I'm fine. I completely forgot about the fact that I can do that. Mini carrot, everybody. Lucky Word. Did you notice that Lucky Word wasn't targeting cannon? I don't know if that was a graphical glitch or not, but that'd be neat if it wasn't. Because cannon doesn't need it. Tim's luck has increased. That's it. Nobody else's was. That's fine. That's actually the person whose luck needs to increase. Uh, I'm at 71. Dang it. More mini carrots. I can always buy more, after all. And... Here, a Wojanoid. Wojanoid. I can just eliminate the Wojanoid this turn. Wojanoid, you drop lucky cards. You're... Just don't use certain elements. That's fine. It's against all. I don't want to do against all. Um, those are neither of those elements. Well, you know, you go down the hole. Prohibited spell. Get rid of you. Pure literature. All right. Tim, you are actually going to use Shapanga. Rise and shine. I don't actually know how much damage this is going to do. Notice, I cannot use regular combine with those greater abilities. I have to use high combo. They, any of the superior deities or superior guardians no longer have the ability to use the regular guardian powers. So you can only get their abilities on Tim. That's right. Those of you that watched me play Wild Arms 2. Or Wild Arms 1, if you're watching me play Wild Arms 2 now. 
it is Lucky Shot. Which guarantees a drop for Necronomicon. Oof, confusion. That's not good. This would have been a good battle to have status lock up. Oh well. I need to get a lot more force points to get to that again. Well, not happening. I at least got one Necronomicon. I really want two, but one will do in a pinch. Necronomicon, 832 sorcery on dam. I'm hoping for another Necronomicon battle, that's all. 46 on level. <coughs> now, look at how much damage he's going to be doing with these rock dolts now. Nearly 10,000 damage on a normal one. Plasma Tap's definitely going to do more than 10k. Yep, 12k. Do you see why at this point in the game is usually when Tim just permanently stays in my party because he's super so overkill. He kills everything dead. You're not what I want either. Beam. Die. Oh. Okay. Well, we got what we came here for. Now we can do everything in the game. There are no exceptions anymore. Um, so first, I'm going to use the thing that we needed the gun for. That was Pirate's Cavern. Where was that? A Pirate's Warren? That is... Easternmost Island. Oh, yeah, that one. The one that's here. <coughs> the place that required all the duplicators. By the way, we don't need any duplicators for the rest of the game. I think we've got all of them now. But this is what we needed the flare gun for. The dragon was like, mmm, delicious flare. Up. Oh. Yep, that's right. We've got a whole bunch of random boss battles now. Yatlorg! Monster battleship. That's right, we are fighting a battleship. Because this makes sense. Uh... I don't know if we can fight this. This thing has a chance of instant death. We don't have enough ways of preventing that right now. Wait, no, we have Thanatos X with Tim. That's right. I mean, we still need to do status locks. Boy, do we need to do status locks. Actually, let's see. What status effects do you do? Poison, disease, instant death. Okay, we can make this work. Let's eliminate disease. Poison, honestly, I don't care as much about. Although, I'm going to eliminate it anyway, because why not? And Tim is going to be the ludicrously overpowered character. Got it. Alright, so, and you notice, there's only Gatlorg. So we need a status lock on Marivel. We are going to... Hmm, is this weak against anything? No, not that I'm seeing. Does a lot of damage.
I'm gonna guess it's magic damage, but I don't really know. And Thanatos X. No instant death, please. Oh, I should have cast Quick on Tim now that I think about it. Just in case that, that happens. Ow. Thanatos X. Yay. And a status lock on top of it. Okay. So we've got one status lock off. Let's get our second status lock off. Lilka, you're going to heal Tim for lots. Tim, your first aid. Oh. Don't remember how much first aid does at this point. Let's find out. Okay, for, uh, did not need the heal. Tim could full heal on a first aid now. Cool. Bubble cluster. Ow. Glad I have Tim for first aiding. Alright. Status lock, Tim. Lilka, you're just going to attack at this point. Oh, it is actually weak against fire. Actually, let's just use a lucky card now. This thing's worth a lot of XP. Tim's probably going to be first dating every round for the rest of the game. <laughs> just because of how stupid overpowered it is. Full body attack on Loka this time. Oh. Status locking Tim. Everybody is locked. Cool. Marivel. Uh, you get to have lots of fun now, don't you? Looks like also weak against lightning. Guess it's time to check that out. I flame Tim first aid. Although, come to think of it, Luca, heal yourself. Tim, beat the pure living snot out of this thing with a napalm hit. thousand damage. This thing isn't going to live very long at this rate. Thunderbolt looks pretty. Two thousand? Really? That that was it. That was a high-powered attack, wasn't it? That was a 52 CP atta uh, FP attack. What the hell? Okay. I think what I need to do instead is start using Ashley. So what I'm going to do is swap Ashley and Lilka around. Marifel is going to status lock Ashley. Ashley, you're going to... Actually... No, I don't want to use Ashley. Screw Ashley. We don't need Ashley. We want cannon. Because that's what I said I was going to use. It was cannon more often than Ashley. I'm using Ashley so little. Ashley is ludicrously overpowered in this fight. But I don't want to. Randomizer? Randomizer. And then first aid. Because why not? Pike kick! That missed? You missed? Oh, right, she's not Thanatos Xed. Anyway. We are going to change your equipment to a fire ring, then. Make a hype weapon. Just stunned on me. 
punch in the face, and then we want to Thanatos X again. That way, everybody's protected. Why am I missing? How? I mean, I'm making this fight way harder than it needs to be. Let's be honest here. Do I hit for only 2,000? Really? Maybe it wasn't worth the effort of putting cannon in. Really, I just need somebody to heal. Cannon's capable of healing. With items, I mean. Up, close enough to full. Yeah, Luca at least does nearly 7,000. I mean, it's no 11,000, but you know. Luca would do more if she was actually maxed out, but she's not. Maybe she should be. So it's probably going to be dead by the time I get Luca to have a turn. I want to see a plasma tap instead. Eight thousand. Full body attack on Lulka. Oh, that's kind of what I wanted. All right. If I remember correctly, dual cast, flame, high flame. I think that's the way that this one works. You will go ahead and heal Lulka just in case. Although she can take a hit now that I'm looking at it. Eh, punch the face. Heal Loka. No. Sorry, I keep backing, going back and forth. Tim, first aid. Caloric Nova, yes! How much fire damage did you do? Same as Tim. 100,000 XP. 150,000 Gela. Everybody levels up from that, at least once, if not twice. We're in the big leagues now. And Gatlorg really didn't have anything on him, right? Uh, I can pickpocket a mini carrot, don't care. All right, this is our final duplicator. Power boost acquired. That's best weapon in the game for... Uh, for, whatchamacallit, um... Brad, right? No. Power boost is a usable item, then. Where is it at? Oh, no, it just increases strength. That's what it is. Increases strength by a decent amount. It was not worth the boss battle, but, you know, optional content and all that. Let's see, how long do we have left? We have about 10 minutes remaining. Okay. So, with those 10 minutes, what should we do next? I would like some guardians, maybe. Okay. 
Um, that's not what I'm looking for. Do we actually have all the Guardian statues? No! We only have two of them! What the heck? Okay, we're missing Stone Drago. How the hell did that happen? Let's deal with that. Alright, where is the Sacrificial Altar? Sacrificial Altar is located at... 17, which is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. There, okay. I don't need to teleport. So, Kitty, what are you doing? We went too far north. It's down here. Zone. Really, cat? Really? Okay, where's Stone Drago? Because I obviously missed it. It's right in the beginning. Not this room, it's this one. Zone. Oh. It's there. Uh, at least it's early on. Usually, there's the plaque. Stand, wait in the position directly across from the four eyes. There we go. It's Zodiac symbols, for reference. I'm not even bothering to think about the puzzle in this case. I've just looked it up. And this will teleport us back. That was it. Now let's go actually unlock these. Which won't take very long. Game, really? <sighs> I have a cat that's sitting right here that's not making things easy for me because he was sitting on my mouse. Okay. So. We need to talk to people who are special to certain party members. I don't know why I even bothered teleporting. It's probably a better idea. Now Zone's settled down on my lap. So, first off, Valeria Chateau. So, it's people who are very important to the characters. By the way, there are no hints in the game that you're supposed to do this. I think I ran across it by accident the first time. Or one of them. Not all of them. And then looked it up afterward. Because it's like, okay, yeah, no, I have these other stone items. Here we go. Oh, Ashley! Welcome back! Stone Drago starts to give off a silent white light. What the? What's this light? Ashley, what's going? Oh.
It's them as kids. Marina, this is your universe, right? It's you yourself, right? Marina. I wish days like this had would last forever. Never doubted days like this would continue. Ashley and I are here. The plain old everyday world is still here. An ordinary daily life is going to continue ordinary forever. Don't come here. Don't destroy eternity. I'm afraid. I've had enough. To wound and be wounded. How could someone so scary happen on a regular basis? Sorry, something. Just want to be with Ashley. Fighting to protect eternity and for the time when I don't know Ashley. For nothing to change, for everything to stay the eternity from before. Is that what Marina hopes for? Do you want to believe that eternity is when nothing changes? Nothing changing. I don't think I can stand such a thing. Oh, sorry. I don't think such a thing exists. Sorry, the microphone's blocking the last word for me. Times change and evolve. We're forever encountering mo moments of continual change. This could cause despair, or it could lead to a different response. It's possible to want to see how the world turns out. To see how the what the future will bring. That's what I believe. It's actually what I believe, too, personally. I want to know what's happening next. Hope. Yes. The power to wish for tomorrow. The power to wish for a day that you have not yet seen. I wonder if I have that power. Of course you do! But you won't find it in your eternity. You're right. I understand it now. Ashley taught it to me. My wanting to be with Ashley is not in eternity. Forever, for sure, and evermore. From now on, we'll always be together. That's right. Hope is on the other side of this moment. Far away from eternity. Our wishes... Our hope is always for the future. Desire leads to strength and reaches me as light. The long extinct desire has been awakened by one who remembers hope. Stop me if you seek the future. When dark clouds block tomorrow, my power will become a westerly wind to pierce and dispel it. I am Zephyr, the guardian lord who protects, who guards people's hearts and Vilgaia. Hope's light will become the power to expand the future. Zephyr acquired. Sadly, we don't get to see them this time. I liked how Zephyr got awoken in Wild Arms 1. Oh, that was weird. Remember, I have to come back, I promised. Also, for reference, Zephyr gives a bonus to everything except for magic. Actually, it gives a bonus to magic also, but it's a much bigger bonus to vitality and strength. Hence, yep. Cannon's now a tank. All right, next stop. We gotta talk about other people's happy places and people that they care about. So we need to go to Brad and his boyfriend. I mean, friend who's a boy and... Yep. I'm just gonna go for the whole Brad's gay thing. They messed up the translation so much, I get to decide what it means. So we're going to Debak. We're going to finish up these three guardians, and that'll be it. Hello, Rasio. Oh, right. Hey, mister. Do you come to the village just to visit Billy? Oops, what am I saying? Uh, I'm sorry! I don't know why you're apologizing for that. Oh, good old Rasio. I mean, it's pretty obvious you have a crush on Brad, but... Brad's true love is right here. The light... It's expanding. 
Uh, you can talk now? Wow. Dumbfounded silence. The stone light be starts to give off a silent white light. What would that light be? Billy. Boop. A hero note should be a symbol of how to control one's power. I'm beginning to understand your true feelings. No. Strictly speaking, you just might reach a different conclusion. A different conclusion? Yes. We don't have a need for heroes anymore. That's what I believe now. Are you saying heroes are unnecessary? That's not what I really meant. That's not really what I meant. A hero isn't bestowed on you, nor can it be relied on, nor do they have shape. They are an amorphous blob, but a hero exists in the hearts of anyone who tries to accomplish something. Mm -hmm. That's essentially what you meant when you said a hero should be a symbol. Hmm. If that's what you think, well, that must be right. For you to say that, you, the one who knows me best, means a hero isn't just some convenient, powerful being that always saves people from serious danger. A hero's symbolic role is to show everyone that they possess within themselves similar powers. Another way of putting it is courage. Did your current team members taught you this? Yes, they made it clear to me. They've continued to fight of their own will and the strength rather than rely on the hero of Sleheim. They may not realize this, but they have become heroes themselves. And this is repeated by others. Then heroes really will no longer be necessary. When this is repeated by others. Glad I left things in your hands. You're my hero. A hero embodies the will to show courage. They personify bravery, shake off doubts and step forward, follow the road indicated with the spiritual strength to never lose. Desire leads to strength and reaches me as guidance, which leads to the dark side. Long extinct desire, which has been reawakened by the one who hasn't forgotten courage. Of what you desire is strength of heart, you best stop me. When confusion clouds your path, my power becomes a sword to crush the universe and solve the problem. I am Justine, the guardian lord who guards people's hearts in Filgaia. The sword of courage will make the heart full of strength. I got Justine. I got Justine. Red, where are you? Where? And Billy will never speak again. But we have the Guardian. Time for the last one, and then we will be stopping this video for the night. We're already a little over an hour, but I want to get all three of these done, because otherwise I'm going to forget about it. So, it's Lilka's turn, right? Nope. <laughs> the last one's a Guardian of Love. Lilka does not love her Tormentor, regardless of what the game's trying to implicate imply. No, there is only one true love in this entire thing. And that's Tim. It's weird that this game there isn't a guardian for Lilka. Because the guardians are absolutely meant for Ashley, Brad, and Tim. Lilka's kind of just forgotten about at this point, which bothers me a bit, because Luca's a really interesting character that they never did a whole bunch of development with. Tim's a really interesting character, and they did actually do some development with that, so that's nice, but... Uh, what's happening? Why am I so excited and nervous and even more excited, but unfamiliar? I feel the same way when the medium began to shine, and yes, I think that's it, but but wait. What, what What's that? What is that? Is that the medium? No. I don't know either. It doesn't feel bad, though.
I wonder why. I just... I feel really happy just like this. Um, yeah, me too. Is this really... But this is so embarrassing! But, but, is it really? Could it be? When I think about Tim, my chest constricts. It's actually quite painful. Uh, me too. When I think of Colette... Could it be? Could it really be? It can't be, but it makes me so happy! But it scares me a little. I'm beginning to feel that, like, Tim is all that I can think about. And it worries me to be like that. Notice the music stopped. There's another me who's happy that I'm like this. It's as if there's two of me. It's kind of the same for me. When I'm with Colette, I feel calm and relieved, while at the same time I'm wildly excited. I think the present, the time that I spend with Colette, is an important time for me. Yeah! Me too! I, I like the present time that I spend with him too. Colette, I want to protect you from all hardship and pain. It's because you are the most important woman or person to me. I don't quite understand the parenthetical reference there. I'm wondering if that was a translation note that got... that just stayed in. Thank you. Sit back down. Scoot, scoot. My desire is to protect you is gradually making me stronger. I've learned that thinking of someone other than myself is very powerful. Okay. I mean, I've become this strong all because of Colette. And totally not because I fought the same boss repeatedly. Because it kept reappearing, and thus I can fight it as much as I want. To be honest, I don't want to fight. But in order to protect what I have now, I will fight. Damn. I wonder if this is what it means to like someone. I feel so warm. If you fight to protect you, my heart must be stronger. The desire leads to strength and reaches me as affection. The long extinct desire has been reawakened by the one who hasn't forgotten love. If what you desire is each other's hearts, you best stop me. When hardship confronts you two, my power will become a ceaseless tie that will have you that will have you rid it all. This is a bad translation. I am Raftina, the guardian lord who guards people's hearts and fill Gaia. Remember, Raftina is human. They never explain what's actually going on with that! Ah. Love's gentle embrace will become a gentle enveloping strength. Raftina acquired. Raftina is by far the best guardian in the game for Tim, except for Dundarium. Darium. Dyrum. Because Raftina is so much better in every way except for magic, and it's not that far off on magic. But... The main thing is, notice what ability it says to the right. Using High Guardian plus Raftina makes you invincible for a round. Or sorry, your normal ability, not High Guardian. Um, no, actually, High Guardian Raftina makes you invincible for three rounds. Your regular ability makes you in invincible for one round. Justine is Branch Zap, which uh, works the same way as Branch Zap in Wild Arms 1, which was an ability of Jack's, where you can make a powerful attack and it uses the same element as what you have equipped. I'm assuming that, at least. Chapango's Randomizer. Zephyr is Force Charge. You use it to gain a Force ability, or a Force level up. It's kind of the least useful one of the abilities, just because you can do that on your own. Anyway, the more important part... ...is that we have a lot more abilities to learn. And yes, those are 99 battles I have to do with these Guardians. <laughs> but... ...they are the most powerful abilities in the game. Also, that is a full heal. It is the most useless ability in the game. Because he already does a full heal, as it is. 
So yeah. We have some abilities to learn. That's a lot of battles. That will be another night. Let's go ahead and make a save here. I hope you've enjoyed this internet. This much more fun and not content warning video. Um, Zone is in a crazy cat hour moment right now, so. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye!